Welcome back to Power and Politics. Should the federal government be in the business of policing sport in Canada? The NDP believes the government must act following the latest incidents of hockey violence. Check out this brutal hit here. This left one young hockey player badly injured and another suspended by their league for the season. So hard to watch that stuff. Today the NDP called on the government to launch a royal commission into the issue of violence in sports. Glenn Thibodeau is the NDP sports critic and he joins me now. Glenn, good to see you. Thanks, uh, Government, refereeing, long arm of the government. What can the government bring to this that referees and the sport's own rules, which already prevent cheap shots, not bring? Let's, let's be very clear here. We're not calling for the government to get involved in refereeing. What we're asking for is a royal commission to look for answers to stem this increase in violence that we're seeing in sport. We've seen it in hockey and, and that, you know, you're right, that's hard to watch that, uh, that incident with the elbow. But it's happening in all other sports. And so what we need to do is have this Royal Commission to talk about what are the solutions. Because there's many things that need to be discussed. Equipment, officiating, coaching, social trends, and how that's having an effect on sport. So it's one thing to discuss. And, and give us an idea of some of the, the suggestions that are out there, the possibilities. Well, there's, there's many things that we can do, but I don't want to prejudge what the, con the, the commission can come up with. I think it's, you know, having Hockey Canada involved, having Football Canada, having the health side, having individuals that uh, are seeing the sports injuries uh, from these, these cheap shots, so to speak, having their involvement, and then law enforcement as well, to have an opportunity to have this dialogue, to come up with some of the solutions, because not all of us have those answers. Uh, why a Royal Commission? You know, often, as the case, a Royal Commission, they're very expensive, they, they make some proposals and then nothing happens. They gather dust on a shelf. Well, I use the example of uh, checking from behind if we're going to talk about hockey. Uh, back in the 90s, checking from behind was a huge problem in our national game. And we had uh, numerous discussions right across the country and a whole plan was put together on how we take checking from behind out of the game. And it's almost always disappeared in many yeah. cases. So what we need to do now is we need to continue this dialogue and find ways that we can we can talk with police or talk with health and and say how do we work together as communities to ensure that we enjoy the game but I mean I guess the question is I mean you played hockey growing up in your mm -hmm. community you know there are rules a cheap shot always happens sometime but it's always illegal we all know who the cheap shot artists were in, in the leagues you play whether it's in football or hockey or in, in any sport why would a Royal Commission make any different why, why can't we just get the referees to call the shots. It hasn't been working, right? We're seeing an increase in, in violence in all sports. And I'll give you an example, uh, an extreme example, but we're playing tennis, you and I, and I don't like the uh, shot that you've just done, so I jump the net, I come over and I smash you with the racket. I'm going to get charged with assault. But if it were in a hockey rink and the same thing happens except it's with a stick, I get a one-game suspension or maybe a two-game suspension. We need to look at how we can fix this. But are you criminalizing a sport? Uh, I mean, look at hockey. There's fighting in hockey. Would yep. you like to criminalize that? I don't think we need to criminalize it. The laws are already there, right? So if we actually start enforcing the rules that are there, um, and the officials do a good job, right? But when it comes down to the suspensions, I don't think all of the answers are there, and I don't want to prejudge what the commission can do. I think there's people out in this country that actually have some of the solutions, and I think we all need to work on it. The NDP said today that they would look at other options to end violence if the government doesn't act on, on a royal commission. What other options? There's other options of, of, of us holding our own um, cross-Canada tour, talking with many of the organizations. Um, you know, we, we've, we've heard, uh, I think Bob Nicholson has come out, they're going to be hosting their own summit. What are they going to be doing to ensure that we can take headshots and the cheap shots that are happening in hockey and all sports out of all games for the sake of our children? All right, Glenn, but you played hockey, football. Hockey, football, lacrosse, I refed, I coached. And you took some cheap shots? Took a couple. Uh, concussions. Did you want the government coming to your rescue or should the referees or, or, or someone else come to your rescue? Well, you know what? I was expecting that um, the league should come to my rescue, right? But unfortunately, if the leagues aren't doing it right now, it shouldn't be the government as well. But this commission could come up with ways that the leagues can do it themselves. All right, Glenn Thibodeau. I'm glad we didn't come to blows here. Thanks a lot for coming in. <laughs> Thank you. That's the NDP sports critic, Glenn Thibodeau. Coming up next, what lessons can be learned from delivering aid to Haiti? One former disaster coordinator is making an intriguing new proposal.